Elementor Blocks for Gutenberg was released today. It is a new plugin created by the developers of Elementor and allows you to add Elementor templates to Gutenberg designs. This is another step towards Elementor Gutenberg integration. And as far as I know, this is the first page builder to really take the integration to the next level. And I'll show you what I mean in this tutorial and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up? My name is Bjorn. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress and WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and check out our prior Facebook group linked to in the description down below. That's where we help each other with WordPress. So make sure you check that out. And I'd like to know in the comments down below whether you like Gutenberg and Elementor and whether you think the integration of those two is a good thing. And what I mean by integration, I'll get into in this tutorial. So let's get started. To get started, we have to add a plugin. So let's go to plugins and then add new. And let's search for Elementor Blocks. And it is down a little ways here. Elementor Blocks for Gutenberg is the one we want. This is created by the creators of Elementor. Click on install now when you're ready to install it. If you want to back up your site files and database first, do that. There's a link in the description down below to a plugin to help you do that. Click on activate when it's installed. And this works with the free Elementor. So I'm just gonna deactivate my Elementor Pro. And we're gonna see that this Elementor Blocks add-on works with the free version. And right now it's an add-on. They're gonna be incorporating this into the main plugin after Gutenberg's released. Gutenberg was supposed to be released at the end of summer 2018 or sometime in the summer of 2018. Didn't happen. So I'm not sure when it's due, but it's coming soon. Now, if we head to any post or page and go to add new, if you have the Gutenberg plugin installed, you'll see something like this. And I'm gonna just give this a title, call it testing blocks. And you can add content in here. Let's just do that. So we have something on the page. And now if we click on edit with Elementor, that button's been there for quite a while. That one will take us to the purely Elementor editor. But if we click on the plus icon to add a block to Gutenberg, we now have Elementor library as an option. And we can drag and drop or click on that to add to the page. Now we can drag and drop it to move it. And this allows you to add templates. So you have to create a template in Elementor and then you can put that template onto the page. So we just drag and drop that on here. I'm gonna click on create my first template. So we're just gonna create a really basic template for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm just gonna have a call to action and a button to our opt-in page or our WooCommerce sales page or whatever it is. Just gonna add a headline. And I'm also gonna fast forward while I build this because it's not critical to the tutorial, but we do have to have some kind of template. So I'm just gonna fast forward from here so you can watch as I do it, but you don't have to hear me talking. And there we go, we have a basic template. It's not pretty, but it'll do for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm gonna click on the up arrow down here and click on save as template. Now at the free version, you have limited, or limited types of templates you can save, but you can save these basic ones to use in Gutenberg. Let's just give it a name. Let's call it opt-in uh, page button. Click on save and there we have our template. So I'm gonna click on the X and I'm going to leave Elementor, exit the dashboard. I'm not gonna save that page because we created a template that we're gonna use in Gutenberg so we don't need to actually save that page. So let's go back to our Gutenberg post, see if it auto saved. Let's go to all posts, here it is. Click on edit, now we're back in the Gutenberg editor. Click on select template, pick our opt-in page button and boom, there's our opt-in page button right in the Gutenberg editor. And if we want to edit this a bit because it's a little scrunched, doesn't look quite how we expected, we can click on Edit Template with Elementor over here. Then when we save it, we can go back and forth between Elementor and these blocks and then make it how we want it to look. And like I said, this is gonna be built into the core plugin, the free version of Elementor once Gutenberg drops. Until then, we have to use a secondary plugin. And I imagine you're always gonna to have to go back and forth between the Elementor Builder and Gutenberg because they're probably not gonna put all the Elementor Builder content right into the Gutenberg editor, because that wouldn't make a lot of sense. So that's probably not gonna happen. But I can guarantee you that Gutenberg is not gonna replace Elementor. I can guarantee you that Gutenberg and Elementor will play nice together, because 
the designers of Elementor are working hard to make them work together, as we can see with this option with the templates they've enabled for us. And Gutenberg is also a, a transition away from purely code-based websites. And even though Gutenberg has got a lot of mixed reviews, I think in the long run, it's a positive thing because it puts a layer between regular users and the code, which makes it more accessible, which makes WordPress more accessible and more viable as a long-term solution because there are a lot of other options out there that don't require you to code. They're all just drag and drop, like Wix, for example. You've probably seen an ad for Wix on YouTube before. I know I've seen 3,000 just today, and they are a website builder that's just a drag and drop editor. You never do any code. And I think you can if you want. There's probably an HTML widget you can add and do code if you want to. But if you don't want to touch the code, you never have to. Before Gutenberg, WordPress always had the visual editor and the HTML editor. In the HTML editor, you do actual code and people don't want to do code. People just want to design nice websites. And so Gutenberg is going to provide us a way of taking a step away from the code and hopefully being able to design nicer websites and focus on design versus focusing on the menial tasks that you have to do when you're coding a website. But that's just my two cents. I'd love to hear what you think. Leave a comment down below and let's talk about it. So that's what the Elementor Gutenberg integration looks like today. It'll probably keep evolving and changing as time goes on. In the comments down below, let me know if you like what you see. If you don't like what you see, just let me know what you think in the comments down below. And then check out the Facebook group, of course, link to in the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.